Okay, today we're going to talk about lesson 5.1, which is relating graphs to events. And um, basically what our goal is or what you should be able to, what you'll learn is how to interpret, sketch, and analyze graphs from situations. So this first one is going to be uh, sketching a graph from a situation. So here's our situation. It says, every day Carissa leaves her house and slowly walks to the bus stop. So she's probably tired, sort of like... She waits there for a few minutes and talks to some of her friends. When the bus arrives, Carissa gets on the bus and rides to school. So we're going to sketch a graph of what this looks like. So here's my graph. And over here, this is going to be our distance from home. And this is going to be time. So this is for Carissa on her way to school. So. It says, um, first, she leaves her house and slowly walks to the bus stop. So that's the first thing I'm going to sketch off. So here is she's walking slowly. So her distance from home is increasing, but it's increasing slowly. Um, so she's slowly, this is, this starts her distance from home. This would be zero. She's at her house. So she's getting further away from home and she's walking slowly. So I'm going to label this part right here is her walking slowly. Walking slowly. Okay, and then it says she walks to the bus stop and she waits there for a few minutes and talks to some of her friends. So at this point, her distance from home, it, it's not changing. It's staying the same. So we're just going to have it be constant. It's just the same because she waits there for a little bit the bus to show up so the second part is her waiting and then the third part is her getting on the bus and going to school so the bus obviously goes a lot faster than her walking rate so we should show that in here so now we're going to have her getting on the bus and it goes a lot faster and her distance from home is increasing so this part right here is her riding the bus riding the bus okay so that shows that's what we just did is we sketched a graph from the situation up here. This was her walking slowly to the bus stop, waiting at the bus stop, where her distance isn't increasing, then getting on the bus and riding the rest of the way to school. So this would be a graph that represents the situation right here. So, okay, I have another sketch here that we're going to look at. And this one is going to be a plane flying... is flying from New York to London. And this is all we're given, okay? But we'll also be given a graph here. So for our graph, we've got altitude and time. So this is going to be a given. I'm going to draw a graph of what's happening here um, with this plane, and then we're going to talk about what might be happening at each situation. Coming down a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So if this is a graph that represents a plane flying from New York to London, this is time and this is altitude, how high the plane is. So this first part of our graph at the very beginning, so I'm going to break this into each of its sections. So from basically this point to this point right here. Well, the altitude is increasing, and it's increasing pretty quickly, so we would say this is where it is taking off. The plane is taking off. And then from here to here, it's pretty similar. So we would say this is where it's cruising cruising altitude so up at the top and then it kind of slowly goes down here to about here so we're descending somewhat but not all the way so it's not a complete landing so this might be an initial descent initial descent um, but then it kind of starts to level off so maybe like there was another airplane coming off so from here to here this might be where it's circling the runway. Maybe they had to wait to get clearance to land. And then our last step from here to here, this would be the actual landing. So 
So this would be an example of what would happen during a plane flight. Okay, so here we're just given a situation in the graph and we have to label each of the parts, the taking off, the cruising, the initial descent, circling the runway, and then the landing. So what I would like you to do is pause the video and try quick check one and quick check two. Quick check one is on page 252 and quick check um, two is on page, so number one's on page 252 and number two is on page 253. So go ahead and hit pause and then come back when you're ready. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this first one here. So on this first one, it says the graph at the right shows a trip from home to school and back. The trip involves walking and getting a ride from a neighbor. Copy the graph and label each section. So you should have had, so it said to copy it. So, and this will be our distance from home. And here we've got time. And the graph looks something like this. Okay, so it just said copy it and label each section. So the beginning point, and this is a day's commute, our distance from home. So this time, when you look at this, here's our initial spot right here. So this might be... Um, driving. I mean, you're driving from here to here, so this is some sort of driving, and you're getting a little bit further away. And then what might happen that would stop you right here? So your distance from home starts to stay constant. Well, maybe you have to stop at a stoplight. And maybe that's even a stoplight to get on the expressway, because to me it does look like this second part is a little bit faster. So this might be driving on an expressway. Driving on expressway. And then this part right here is just solid. You're just stopping for a long period of time. Ian, so this would be, so this right here would be um, maybe stopping at work or being at work. And then it's time to go home. So after this, this would be coming back from home because your distance from home is starting to decrease. So this would be driving back home on the expressway because it's faster. And then again, we're stopping here at a stoplight. And then this last part right here is driving home. Maybe you're just on a regular road now. And then you get back home at this last spot. So those would be all the parts. So those are some different things you might have included. Okay, so quick check two. It says, sketch a graph of the distance from a child's feet to the ground as the child jumps rope. Label each section. So for this graph, you should have had something that looked like this. So we've got height here. And we've got time here. And so this is your height while jumping rope. So you're going to start, you might have started right here. And your jumping rope here. So your height increases and then it decreases and then your height increases and then it decreases and your height increases and it decreases so what are all these parts here well this is where you land this is where you're landing and this is where you're jumping and that's really about what it would look like you're jumping and then you're landing so that's what you should have had something that looked like that so go back and watch any parts that you need to see um, sorry about when my kids walked in here for a second, and that's it.